we're going to talk about the placenta. The placenta has two different sides, and I'm going to point all of that stuff out as we go. And this is a real placenta, newly delivered from a patient. We're going to start here. This side is called Duncan side of the placenta. I remember it by saying dirty Duncan because it kind of looks a little dirty. Rugated, you can see how the tissue kind of um, meets each other like puzzle pieces. And this is the side that actually adheres to the uterine wall. Okay, we're gonna flip it over. This is not the other side because we have a sac here. In utero, you're gonna see that this sac, look, directly attaches to the placenta. And this sac is full of amniotic fluid with an umbilical cord and the baby. And you see my fingers in here? That's the baby. Hi, everybody. Right in there. Okay. When they break the sac, amniotomy, where they take the shepherd's hook looking device and they put it up and they break this sac, they're going to find the sac and actually pop it. It's going to open up. All the amniotic fluid comes out. Okay. And you got the baby that comes out and you got the cord. This cord was already cut for a delivery. It's a little bit difficult for me to see the vessels. I just want to take a quick look here. I don't know if I can get to them. There are three vessels in every umbilical cord. There should be. Sometimes there's two. But for every umbilical cord, there should be three vessels. And it should be, I remember it, by Ava. This is a good one, actually. I don't know if you guys can zoom in or look at it. There's three vessels. It almost looks like three little fingers popping out. It's two arteries and one vein. Okay. So you got the cord here and this purple stuff here is already coagulated blood flow, but you would normally see the vessels that are colored inside of the Wharton's jelly. Wharton's jelly is what encapsulates the vessels because if the vessels were just hanging out free, the kids roaming around in there, those vessels could be broken. So this Wharton's jelly actually prevents damage and it's soft. So when the baby's bumping up against it, it's not gonna do any damage there, okay? All right, so as they deliver the placenta, the sac actually inverts itself, crazy, and we have now Shiny Schultz. This is Schultz side. I call it Shiny Schultz Dirty Duncan just to keep the mnemonic in play. Take a look here now. So you have the sac, now it's inverted, but now we have the umbilical cord almost towards the center of the placenta. That's a good anchoring. Sometimes you have the anchoring over here, the more center the better because the more blood flow is able to be reached. Can you see all the vessels? All these vessels reach the cord and all of the perfusion that's needed to go to the baby are going through these vessels up through the umbilical cord into the baby. Okay, um, some other things to just point out too. There is, this one's slightly discolored. It's not typically the normal coloring for a placenta because there was um, meconium at this delivery and you can actually see some of the meconium here on the chuck. Um, baby did defecate inside of the sac, and um, that's why we're seeing this discoloration to it. But this is the typical look of a placenta with the sac, and this part typically is filled with fluid. Okay, here we have it.